For the first time, self-portraits of artist Leo Segedin are on display in a solo exhibition. Chicago Tonight's Jay Shevsky first introduced us to the Evanston-based artist some 10 years ago. Arts correspondent Angel Edo takes us to Desplaines, to the Desplaines exhibit showcasing the series of self-portraits spanning 75 years in a new interview with the 95-year-old artist. This is Leo Segedin. This is also Leo Segedin. This is him here too. In fact, they're all Leo Segedin, all painted by the artist himself over the course of 75 years. But the past is my present, in my painting anyway. Jay Shevsky first introduced us to the artist in 2013. While a lot has changed since then, some things have remained the same. I grew up on the west side of Chicago, okay? Anytime I paint the city now, mm -hmm. it's from the west side of Chicago from 1940s. Despite raising his family in Evanston for the last 50 years, Segedin's work has always been rooted in his childhood memories. And while age has forced Segedin to relocate his studio space at home from the top floor to the living room on the first floor. Now I'm down here in my studio. Mm -hmm. Look at that for crying out loud. <laughs> it's a studio? <laughs> His drive remains the same. What most artists do is bullshit. Pardon the expression. Um, I think since the beginning that my paintings had to be about something. It had to have a subject and it had to be an important subject. Mm -hmm. Those subjects are now on display in an exhibit at the Oakton Community College. What are some of your favorite self-portraits that you see in the exhibit? There's one that used to hang here, mm -hmm. uh, in which I am three times. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I've seen it here every day, mm -hmm. but when I saw it in the museum, I said, wow, did I do that? One of the paintings that's in the show, actually, it shows uh, a kid with a helmet, yeah. you know, and then this old man with a beard, mm -hmm. and that, that's me when I was like nine years old and I wanted to be a pilot, what would I think I would be with, say, when I was 95 years old? And now that I'm 95 years old, I wonder, what did I think I was when I was a kid, you know? And I'm just confrontation. That's what the painting was about. With no help from a mirror, Segedin paints who he has always known himself to be, not necessarily who he sees. I actually have almost no memory of what I was thinking when I did them. I look at them mm -hmm. and, I, and I almost project the past into them. Segedin says he doesn't paint to please people, but hopes his work does. It's for that reason Segedin says he doesn't believe his style is describable. I don't think you can explain it in words. I don't think a visual image is translatable what is it that you want viewers to take away from, from you and your work and what they interpret? Be aware of me as a person that lived for a long time, that produced, and uh, as long as I can, I will. So I may go back mm -hmm. to the more spontaneous stuff and, and just pull it out. And it'll be real loose and no edges and you know, all that. I'll see what happens. Is that intimidating? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Advice to young people mm -hmm. is do it where you can. Mm -hmm. There's only one material that's irreplaceable, and it's time. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito. Again, those portraits can be seen at the Cone Line Museum of Art in Des Plaines through the end of the month. Segedin's next exhibit is scheduled for this spring at an Evanston Center in at an art center in Evanston.